Hey guys, welcome back to MuscleMentor.net. I'm Brad Holmes, Justin Harris, and uh, we want to talk a little bit today about, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff going around the internet, or at least there was, about uh, metabolic damage and shutdown and, and, and how, you know, basically the people think they go on a lower calorie diet for a while and now they're their, their metabolism has changed and everything has shifted and we kind of want to talk a little bit about that and the difference between uh, you know someone who's who's active and someone who's just going on a low calorie diet well, the, to start with there's no such thing as starvation mode that's a kind of a pet peeve of mine I mean that's just starvation mode being <clears throat> where people think that uh, somehow when you eat less you actually gain fat uh, if you eat less than you burn you you lose stored energy usually is fat in the body. What, what more pertains to what the bodybuilding industry or the fitness industry thinks of is, is like a, a metabolic slowdown. And you do, uh, you, you, you do lose some, some level of metabolism uh, anytime you're on an extended uh, low calorie diet. But it's not like what people think. And, it, it's, and it's really what you should think of that is that's your true metabolism. Uh, you, the, the elevated metabolism you get from <clears throat> from eating a diet high in calories where you're actually storing fat, that's not really your true metabolism. But if you take really overweight people, they tend to have high metabolisms. They just eat even more than that. And so if you if you consider your base your your base you know basal metabolic rate or your base starting point to be what your metabolism is while you're storing body fat, that's really not a good standard to pick as your base metabolism because that's the highest your metabolism is going to be because you're eating so many excess so many calories that you have all your energy needs met you can burn as much you can be as wasteful as and as inefficient with your uh, energy as, and metabolism as possible and even after all that there's still extra to store fat over of course that's going to be the highest metabolism you have and so then what happens when you diet your body learns to be more uh, more efficient uh, and 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 that you you, there's some mild decrease in metabolism, but the, the if there's ever a major major drop in metabolism, it's because there's muscle loss. Uh, if you if that that muscle is basically that's your true real basal metabolic rate. Whatever amount if you carry 150 pounds of mus muscle tissue, 150 pounds of muscle tissue requires the same amount of calories to stay alive, basically, uh, no matter what you're eating. And so if you if you drop a 50 pounds and lose 25 pounds of muscle you're going to have a big drop in metabolism. If you drop, you know, 25 pounds of fat, no pounds of muscle, you might have a, a mild decrease in metabolism just because your body's be learned to become more efficient with its calories because it's it's no longer because it's eating less calories than it burns. Yeah, so it, that's why it's, it's doubly important uh, to weight train as if you're trying to put on muscle when you are dieting because uh, that, that creates a stimulus that the body says, okay, well, I still need this muscle. I'm not going to... Um, you know, it's, it's going to be more favorable to keep it than to lose it. Whereas if you're not weight training, you know, it's, it's probably going to take just indiscriminately from both muscle and fat if your calories are lower. And that's where, again, that, that the, whole, the whole thing comes in about the decreased metabolism is because of that muscle that you're losing. So especially for people, and I see this a lot of women, they just want to go on a diet. They don't really want to train. They'll do cardio. They do all that stuff. So their, their calories, uh, their expenditure is high, like Justin was saying, but you're, you're you end up damage. That's where the damage comes in, is where you're losing muscle, and so now your 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 basal metabolic rate is actually lower because you no longer have that muscle that would be burning calories just to be just to be on you. So uh, so that's that's the difference, and that's that's why I see you know it's it's kind of tough with with competitors when they say they have that the metabolic damage and things like that, and say like, well, you got to look at the prep and see where they were they training you know to keep the muscle or were they just doing a, a you know a metric ass load of uh, of cardio. They, they ended up actually losing muscle as, as they were coming down. So it, I mean, it really depends. I mean, I, I think it can happen, but there, there's a reason why it happens, and, and that's the reason is, is usually because of, of muscle that got, that got lost in the process. So.